Hello everybody and welcome to this video about how to install Dynamics in AV. Um, so before you install uh, in AV you need to have a Windows installed and you need to have run all Windows updates. So you have to make sure that when you go in to this Windows update here that uh, you can no longer run it. And you probably have to run this Windows update many many times and restart and restart and restart. So that's one prerequisite. Um, another prerequisite is that uh, if you try to install NAV, it might complain about uh, PowerShell or some other, uh, some other plugins. This depends on which, which version of Windows you are installing NAV on. Um, but it will tell you what to download and, uh, and what to install. So, uh, so just, uh, just do uh, what, what it tells you to. And then in terms of actually uh, finding and downloading the, the installation files for NAV, I have included in this video in the description a number of links where you can download uh, different versions of NAV, but really it depends on which version you are going to download. So that is why I'm not, not, I'm not going to show you every single uh, download option you have. I will tell you, however, how to download one of the versions. So if you start up your uh, Internet Explorer and you write download Dynamics in AV 2016 and then Mibuso. Mibuso is a forum for uh, Dynamics Nav. So this should take you to something usable. And um, if you click this one, it will take you to Mibuso's homepage and there's a nice little button here called download file. So this one is for uh, Dynamics Nav uh, worldwide, which means like a basic non-localized, non, uh, non non-language dependent version of Nav. Um, you might want to find uh, another one, but the, the installation procedures is identical. So you say download file. And save, of course, and then I'm just gonna return when uh, when this has downloaded. All right, so now it's finished the download. So let's try to go to our downloads folder and see what we've got there. And it's sitting here. But as you can see, uh, this particular download uh, isn't recognized by my computer because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lacking, I'm missing a, a piece of software that can read it. So it could be a WinSIP or WinRAR. It's a little bit outside of this tutorial, but I'm just going to show you quickly how you download uh, WinRAR, which is a free tool for opening zipped files. So you should also al always go into the www rarlab.com then you are sure that it's the right it's the genuine source and then you choose your uh, installation um, I would like to go with English but um, I can choose between 32-bit and 64-bit so I'm just gonna go check uh, what my Windows is and I can do that here by right-clicking on computer and system type is 64-bit operating system so I'm going to download the English 64-bit. This is a this is um, fortunately this is a very very fast download. So open folder and then we'll just get WinRAR installed. Install. Okay. Thank you. And then you can already see here that uh, the file I downloaded before has now changed so that it is it can be opened. So let's get these extracted and let's get them extracted to uh, to the same place. So extract to this one. So now they have been extracted. It doesn't matter where you extract them to. Uh, it's only for, inst for the installation files. So now you can double click this one and you see all the, uh, all the folders. And the one that you're looking for is uh, this one called setup. So you double click the setup here and click yes and next and accept. And then you can choose between two different installation options. 
Um, down here you can uh, select specifically which components you want to install and up here it just uh, installs all the all the standard components. So this is the one you should choose. So you click it and then it will always come with an error message or a warning about Outlook Microsoft Outlook Express uh, Microsoft Outlook not having been installed or is not present on the system. Um, but Nav will work perfectly without uh, Microsoft Outlook. So just disregard this uh, error message. So next, and there we go, it's starting to install. All right, so now it has finished the installation and we can close the, ins close the installation and close down these other windows. And let's see what we've got. Well, we've got something up here. And just a, a comment is uh, NAV will install uh, the SQL database if you haven't already installed that. So, so that is not a prerequisite for, for installing NAV. And there you go. You have a new fresh version of, uh, of NAV installed on your computer.